Hi, my name is Shamra, and I'm from California. I have cirrhosis of the liver, and I decided to get stem cells at Hospital Angeles with the Regenerative Medicine Institute. Um, I received these stem cells in October, on October 11th of 2011, last year, and I'm doing a review because there were eight red flags that I wasn't aware of until after I received the stem cells. So this um, video will benefit you as you decide what clinic to go to for stem cells. And I've made some notes so I can remember what you should know. The first red flag that of course I wasn't aware of is after I received stem cells I have received I haven't had any improvement of my cirrhosis whatsoever and this has been very disappointing disappointing to me and this clinic really built up my confidence in them by the things that they told me for example Dr. Jesus Perez who is the medical coordinator of the Regenerative Medicine Institute told me that it would take approximately three months for my liver to regenerate and um, so after three months when I showed no regeneration he said I should wait three more months making it a total of six months it's been well over six months now and probably by the time you see this video it'll be even longer uh, and Dr. Javier Lopez, he's the CEO and president of the stem cell program, decided that I would have to pay another $25,000 if I wanted more stem cells. And I was very shocked at this since I received no improvement on my first treatment that they would charge me more. Um, when they they should have uh, worked something out with me. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the liver and how it makes me feel having cirrhosis. The liver is about three pounds and <clears throat> it's the largest organ in the body. It detoxifies harmful chemicals from our blood as our blood filters through the liver, the liver, it detoxifies um, things like pesticides and pharmaceutical drugs, well, any kind of drug, and pollutants and toxins from our environment. It also manufactures protein and stores energy, and it helps to manufacture vitamins and minerals. It clots the blood and produces immune factors so we don't get sick and it helps make red blood cells and iron. It performs more than 500 different physiological functions so that's quite a bit. It affects almost it affects all of the organs of the body when it is not functioning as it should. So my symptoms are extreme mental and physical fatigue, hair loss, insomnia, um, low red and white blood cell count which causes a weak immune system. I have um, fluid retention and red and swollen eyes and lots of itching and rashes. I'm on a no salt diet and this is very difficult to be on a no salt diet because everything has salt in it uh, and it's hard for me to think clearly because of all the toxins in the blood uh, the liver can man can remove ammonia which is uh, produced by your your produced by the digestive system so you feel like you always have a hangover 
The second red flag that I wanted to discuss that I wasn't aware of was that Dr. Jesus Perez told me that I would need only one treatment. And the reason for this is because he said that half a cup of adipose uh, stem cells or stem cells derived from your fat would reach the therapeutic threshold um, because it yield it has a higher yield than any other type of stem cell and he said that patients typically see results after two to three weeks I did notice a boost of energy the first six weeks um, but the effects have worn off and I haven't felt any benefits since then he also said that the measurable and verifiable results occur after 90 days with any patient they have and with any common disease that they may have um, that's why they ask all of their patients to be retested whether it be a blood test or any other type of like CAT scan they get retested after 90 days and he said that 50 million stem cells are needed to reach the therapeutic threshold at least 50 million I received 155 million so obviously that was not sufficient to regenerate my liver it did not reach the therapeutic threshold my MELD score, which is the scoring system for a liver transplant, has not changed. It's been the same. Um, it's currently at 14, and it was, it has been at 14 for the last five years. Uh, so, I'm, I've been very disappointed with the stem cells. Those points should have gone down to a zero. Um, this was a very huge decision for me to make, so I asked Dr. Lope, Do I asked Dr. Perez if any of their if any of their patients needed to return for more stem cells, and he said none of them, just to make sure that um, what he told me what he was telling me was true. I asked their receptionist Giselle, and I also asked their medical student and all three of them told me that none of their patients had to return for more stem cells so I felt that they were really building up my confidence and he said also that all of their patients showed marked results um, this is very misleading because marked results could mean different things. It could mean they improved by 25%, 50%, did they, did they improve by 90%? We really don't know what marked results mean. And we really don't know, um, it, you know, I asked them if all of their, they said that none of their patients have had to return, but if they say that some of their patients show different results then some of them must not have done as well as others I maybe they needed to return but they couldn't because they didn't have the money I don't know um, because they're asking me to pay more money I assume that could be true for some of their other patients um, he also told me that because the liver has the ability to regenerate on its own that I had a better chance for my liver to regenerate than their COPD patients so I was feeling very hopeful at this point he also told me that we could take care of an autoimmune disease that I have and my cirrhosis with only one treatment obviously the amount of stem cells I received 
did not reach the therapeutic threshold. The second The third red flag that I want to discuss that I wasn't aware of after I received until after I received the stem cells is that they wanted to get my testimonial the very next day after I received the stem cell treatment which was less than 24 hours later they brought their video camera into my room and they were about to set it up but I I declined to do this because it's way too early to notice any difference at all and if they wanted me to give a testimony of the hospital I could have done that but that's not part of the stem cell treatment the hospital is a luxury hospital and it was very state-of-the-art I had a huge room but I didn't pay $25,000 to to for two night uh, stay at a luxury hospital I paid to be healed and for my liver to regenerate and if you notice on their website regenerativemedicine.mx all of their patients all, well excuse me almost all of their patients are videoed the very next day after they received their stem cell treatment and a lot of them are still in their hospital gowns the fourth red flag that I wanted to discuss that I wasn't aware of is that after um, the stem cell treatment they put me on about four or five different medications I told Dr. Perez that medications made me feel sick because my liver, liver wasn't able to detoxify the toxins in the pharmaceutical drugs. Um, I decided to take them anyway so I could follow the doctor's orders because I felt that he knew better than I did. And when I got home which was the day after the stem cell treatment and for that very first week I felt extremely sick I had migraines night sweats nightmares um, bloody nose and I felt like I was being dumped like toxins were being dumped into my body so I had to get off everything However, when I was crying to them on the phone, Dr. Perez told me that the toxins from the pharmaceutical drugs would have no effect on the stem cells. Well, if that were true, then why hasn't my liver regenerated? That we, we, we don't know because stem cells are still, um, the learning, we are still learning about stem cells and we really don't know if the stem cells were affected by the toxins or not is there's no way to determine there's no way to determine that um, the fifth red flag that I would like to discuss that I wasn't aware of was that Dr. Perez declined to give me the, the CEO and president's email address and phone number and his name is Javier Lopez and Dr. Perez's excuse was that he didn't want Dr. Lopez's cell phone to ring during his meetings and his excuse for the email address was that his secretary was out to lunch which was 3 p.m. so I thought this was not consistent with what he says in his videos and I needed to discuss with Dr. Javier Lopez what we could work out since I received since I showed no signs of improvement or regeneration 
for some reason he didn't want me to contact Dr. Lopez. Um, after five months, I emailed Dr. Perez and told him, expressed to him how I was feeling, which wasn't that great, and that I would need more stem cells soon. And I, I told him I was having all the same symptoms, fatigue, insomnia, hair loss, and um, so when I talked to him, I asked him, you know, did you receive my email and did you have time to think about it? And his reply was, uh, yeah. So that was very insincere, and I knew that he didn't really think about what I told him, and he didn't ask me um, my symptoms. He just, when he answered the phone, he just said, hey, what's up? And here I was struggling with all of these uh, symptoms, and I don't feel like he was very concerned how I was really feeling. Um, so finally, Dr. Lopez tried contacting me for a week. He tried calling me, and we kept missing each other. Um, so he emailed me, telling me that he checks his emails often. After that, I sent him two separate emails and asked him to please keep trying to call me once a day, um, every day. But since then, I haven't gotten one phone call, nor has he replied to my two emails. The sixth red flag that I would like to discuss that I wasn't aware of was that they're ignoring me because they do not want to give me more stem cells or they don't and or they don't want to give me a refund so after spending twenty five thousand dollars at this luxury hospital all dr perez had to say was well your liver hasn't gotten any worse what he doesn't consider was that my liver has been the same for the past five years and I didn't get stem cells to remain the same obviously the seventh red flag was that they did not release me from the clinical trial when I asked them when I asked them to um, I asked them to be released because at this point I felt their lack of concern and responsiveness and Dr. Perez told me that it would that there was a lot of red tape to get out of the clinical trial and I felt like he didn't want me to get out I asked him to email me or mail me something that I could sign to be released but I haven't received anything from them in conclusion there, these eight red flags that I wasn't aware of until after I received the stem cells was first, my liver has not regenerated. Second, they told me that I only needed one treatment to heal both my liver and take care of my autoimmune disease. Third, they wanted to video me. They wanted me to give my testimonial the very day after I received stem cells which is too early to determine any improvement or progress. Fourth, there may have been side effects from the pharmaceutical drugs and the stem cells may have, may have been affected by the toxins from the pharmaceutical drugs and they told me that they weren't but there's no way of knowing. Fifth, Dr. Perez declined to give me Dr. Lopez's email and phone number. Sixth, they're ignoring me. It's been almost four weeks with no phone call or email. Seventh, I have 
they have not released me from their clinical trial when I asked them to. And eighth, they want me to pay 